Hello everyone, it's Decoy Deloy with Wasteoids. I'm sitting here with the wonderful Phantom Planet. Uh, we're here at Zona Fest. It's a little bit rained out, but we're going to make it work. Have a good time. I believe uh, we're getting to like a 20 year anniversary with the guests at this time, right? Yeah, uh, we had a... I guess it would be February would be the tw of, of this year would be the 20th anniversary of that album nice, coming cool. out. Yeah. Cool. So it must be a pretty big time for you guys, right? Well, it's definitely been like a trip down memory lane because we, we reissued the guest album uh, digitally. We're, yeah. We have a plan to do it vinyl. That's a long ways away, but uh, we also did a live album that's going to come out on vinyl where oh. I tracked down the photographer who did the cover shoot oh yeah and he still had a bunch of like the contact sheets you know where all the photos are laid out yeah that's uh, cool so we made that the album artwork so oh, it's that's like awesome a, kind of a and nice just seeing those back. photos again brought me right back to 20 oh, years I ago bet. which is a, 20 years it's, is, 20, it's a long time it's, a, it's crazy and long it's not time. that long it's one of those things you know like yeah. you have these mem sense memories of everything yeah it's like almost like it was just yesterday or something yeah yeah but i don't know if it's it's not necessarily nostalgia but Oh, it's got to be still. Time it's still got to be nostalgic. Yeah. You know? It's got to be crazy feeling, you know? Yeah. And were, were you a part of the band at that time? I'm an OG member, yeah. Nice. He, he was in the band before I was in the band. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys started in what? 94. 94 would be the Phantom Planet name, and then we were playing music together in 93. Whoa. Uh, and then Which is almost uh, 90, 30 right. years ago. That's 30 years was ago. Was it 93 or 92 when we started? When we played Jason's school. I think that was 90. Well, that Jason's might have been 93. 93. It was 93? Yeah, we, we didn't play music, I think, until early 93. I was in either eighth, summer of 93. I was in 8th grade or ninth grade at that time. Holy I think crap. it was ninth grade. That sounds right. That's insane. Yeah. We you had, guys look so young and lively still. Well, we started really young and lively. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we freeze our bodies every night. Yeah. <laughs> Cryogenic. Cryogenically, yeah, that's good. So that's what you Best did. Best like, we ever made. Five and then just took a rest, took a little nap. Before it was a thing. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. That's but yeah, cool. We, we started so young and we... Uh, our first album came out in 97, 98, 98, 98 yeah. but we signed to, our first record deal was with Geffen Records before it was part of the Universal Music right. Group, it was yeah, the they did a merger, right? OG Geffen Records with like Nirvana and Weezer and like, I mean, tons of them. Aerosmith, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. a good time. Neil Young, a couple back. Neil Young records back. back. Man, that's uh, wild. But we, yeah. we signed so young that like, that's usually when they're the demarcation of when the bands like started started yeah and we were still in high school like it took two years to go through the courts because we were all minors for the record deal oh. contract so we were signed in 96 but we the record was released in 98 because you were too we young. weren't a lot yeah that's like actually a, crazy your parents couldn't sign some you know field trip contract or something like they that. actually they did i remember we had it was at your mom's house, I think. We all met there. Don't bring my mom into this. <laughs> For real. You no, keep no your his mom out of your mouth. We all right met, now. though. We had all the parents get together. You know, you they do had that to here. sign. There was something like a preliminary yeah. thing which allowed us to record demos and other yep. stuff. Yeah, but you could was working right but the contract was for us as individuals you get a because a record label <laughs> wants to make sure they have all they can not right. to mention the first show we ever played the first technical show that we ever played was at the dragonfly yeah in uh which, which was a is a bar yeah and i don't know how things have gotten a little more lax probably but back then uh -huh. if you're under 21 you couldn't come in and so oh, like yeah. our manager at the time figured out a way of like okay we go on five we go inside five minutes before we play, and then we have to immediately leave. Like, yeah. that was the deal. So our oh, first show wow. was, like, it was so awkward and weird and nerve-wracking. But we literally just walked on stage and then packed all of our stuff up and just walked off. There's no, like, They're celebrating. They're like, get out of here right now. When also <laughs> all of our friends were underage, they couldn't get in. So it was yeah. just our parents and, like, our English teachers. Yeah. yeah. English teachers? Seriously. <laughs> Steve well, that, Prima. Means, that means you guys had a good education because your teachers backed you, too, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's good. That's really good. Okay, so I'm going to take you down a trip on memory lane. Do you remember being on Sabrina the Teenage Witch in 1998? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I do. What well, was that like? These experiences, <laughs> we're in our teens, and these are like first-time things. So yeah, like yeah. I remember it very well. Driving on to the, like I had a had to ask for the pass to get on the lot for the studio, yeah. film studio. And were you, were you older than 18 at that time? 
I were you guys like? I think it was ninety nine. No, that was ninety eight. That was ninety eight. Sabrina too? was ninety eight. I looked yeah. it up. It's ninety eight. I was 98. twenty then. Uh, <laughs> I would have still been 19. eighteen. I was eighteen. Because that was the my birthdays at the latter part of the year. It, this was early in ninety eight. Was it, do you, do you remember anything about that? Like, was it like? I, I do. Because honestly, like coming up as like a growing musician, and then you get on like this big TV show. It's kind of like a jump into the stardom. I mean, of course, you guys had that song in the OC. You know, like you guys were doing like some really great things. So, I mean, even coming back to what you're doing now, 20, 20 years later, like, do you ever think about like what the future holds even now? I mean, there's been that Sabrina reboot. We haven't been invited yet, but. <laughs> Uh, is that true? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen it, so I, no judgment. I, I think can't just judge. randomly, Andrew and I were at Home State, which is a great little taco place um, in Highland Park, right? Los Angeles. Yeah. Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Yeah. And I think we saw, I'm pretty sure, I looked at him and I'm like, I think that's Melissa Joan Hart over there. We kind of looked at each other, but she kind of knows who I am, but yeah. maybe, maybe doesn't know my name or something. But, yeah. So that's weird that there's a reboot. We saw her. Yeah, well, the she's, stars not, are she's not on it. She's oh, really? No. Oh, okay. oh, I don't know. She could be like one of those guest stars that does the older one I wonder, version. I wonder if they got the cat. Yeah. <laughs> so I have another story uh, from when we were on it. I remember walking down part of the set, like kind of in awe, because I've yeah. never been on a set like that. Yeah, I bet it was crazy. Well, I don't think you'd been on a set. Well, Jason, because his uh, actor family, I got to go on a couple of little sets. Oh, interesting. But never okay. as anything that I was... A part Personally of, a part of yeah. yeah. But I remember walking down in Salem, which is that black cat on the show. Okay, yeah. Was to my right, and I remember looking. Wait, was at it a real it, cat or was it? It's, it's an thing? animatronic. It's a, yeah, puppeteer. Uh, but oh. it's done really well. Like even in person, it looks pretty real. And yeah. They were moving it around, and the guy was like doing the voice, and it was just this surreal thing. I, I bet that was it. nuts. It was very odd. Yeah. yeah. The other thing too I remember from that shoot is because we'd never done it before. Yeah. How quick. You know, it's almost like assembly line put together, the two camera set up, I think, or maybe three. I think it was two. But, like, we did two passes of the song, and then we were done. Like, you really? guys are out. Yeah. Just like, so, well, I don't did know. we do a good job? They're like, yeah, you did fine. Get it, get out. I don't know if you remember this, but I, I watched the clip because I was curious. And uh, do you remember the cat playing drums to it? Do you remember the cat rocking out? Yes. It's yes. so I, funny I to watch. <laughs> And, and you saying that it's a puppeteer? Like, I wonder if they were just practicing like its movements, you know? Because it looks like it looks like insane. It's yeah. it's really funny to watch. I also wonder if that was written into the script or like we got along with everybody really well. Yeah. If that was just like an ad, like he was just feeling it and doing it. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Right. This yeah. man actually rocks. So this is really good. <laughs> Writing that in the script would be a little weird. So I'm yeah. hoping that it was just this like. Why are, no, do, you, do you remember the the sheet of script where it just says like Phantom Planet appear yes. and then play their song and then that was it? Yeah. So yeah. It was very didn't make any sense at the time. I remember watching the show back and it's just like oh yeah they had like dudes playing horns and then we came out of nowhere like what the hell is this band? It, there we are. It didn't make any sense. It made no but sense. it was cool that they wanted because it was Melissa Joan Hart was a fan and I think she probably pulled like a string That's or two awesome. to get us on the show. That's really cool. Because I was even thinking about it, like, now with, you know, like, streaming services, like, with just how te television shows work, it is honestly kind of rare you even see a group on TV shows anymore. Yeah. Like, at that time, it was, like, kind of a thing. You'd yeah. see this band that just, like, gets peppered into, like, your favorite sitcom or anything, really. But nowadays, it's always just you cut bring and dry. Up an like, that's an interesting You don't see thing. that anymore. No. Like, you really don't. Like, it, at that time, it was just, like... I used to see it all the time in yeah. shows back in the day. I wonder why that is. Just yeah. a cultural shift or something. It's just a total know. shift, you know? You guys yeah. you guys were in the golden hour at the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why you got to bring it back. All right, so, um, you know, we don't want to hold you guys, like, too long. I know it's going to be a busy, rainy day for you guys. And what time's your set? Do you even know? Three. We go in at 3.55. But there's, like, a 15-minute changeover. I just know because we went over this. And our set is 45 minutes, I think. Awesome. Right? So you let's, know let's say right. just before 4... Yeah. And it's 45 minutes for sure. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And uh, do you guys want to say anything about some future plans? Like, is there anything that's secret that you want to unleash on everybody now? Or Nothing too secret. We've got some really cool, like, limited edition vinyl that's coming out that I sort of mentioned just before. Uh, guys working on some new stuff? Yes. We are in the process of writing, and there's, like... I feel like there's a whole record of music, but there's, like, 70% record of lyrics. 
Okay. Which I, I, I You'll like get to there. pay particular attention to, but yeah, we'll absolutely. Get that. Yeah. There's cool. two things I want to that we I think we should talk about. Uh, at the beginning of COVID, we had a record called Devastator come out, yeah. which is our yeah. fifth, fifth studio record. Uh, because COVID happened, it kind of got lost in the mix. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to tour it. Like, no. there was no uh, advertisement, really. And it came out, like, a week after the Floyd protests. And, like, that obviously deserved more attention than our record. And Absolutely. But, but listening back to it, I still think it's a great record. Like, not trying to pat ourselves record. on the no, back. We did a great I think job. It's really you deserve good. it. The other thing is, the two of us have been doing Instagram lives a lot lately. Yeah. Uh, which is really... Developing our comedy routine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, So, yeah, check us out. Follow us on, what is it, Phantom, at Phantom Planet on Insta? I think if they just Phantom search Phantom Planet, Planet, it should yeah. come up. I, th- I think it's just, I don't know what it is. Phantom Honestly, Planet. Yeah, the algorithm will allow it this time, you know? Totally. Okay.